I'm Catherine O'Connor, and unlike James, I'm definitely a cruise virgin. Which, Catherine, to be honest, that's a very, very sad state of affairs at your <gasps> age. Be nice. I've never been on a ship, and let's face it, like a lot of people, I'm yet to be convinced. And I couldn't be any more different. My name's James Hardy, and I'm a total cruise crazy. So much so, Catherine, that for years and years and years, my friends have called and me. Years and years. <laughs> years and years. <laughs> Julie, the cruise director. Now, I couldn't work out why. And then I did some Googling, and I thought, I hope it's not because of my love of a buffet. I'm not <laughs> I'm, sure they're being... I'm staying away from I'm that I'm not one. sure they're being particularly kind. Each week, we'll feature a live at sea interview with industry insiders. It could be a captain, pastry chef, a butler... No a... matter what questions you've got about the industry, we're going to have the answers for you here each week. Now, it could be how to find the very best discounts to questions about tipping, seasickness, cabin selection, drink packages, um, or even something I think everyone's going to be interested in how to score an upgrade. Yes, please. We'll be sailing off each episode to the most exotic ports in the world. One week it could be the Med, maybe the south of France, Italy, or what about Croatia? The next could be the tropical Bahamas, or even if we're lucky, the sublime Bora Bora. So whether you're on a tight budget or you're pondering a six-star experience for the first time, planning a honeymoon, family vacation, or even a canal boat. Welcome to our second episode, which hopefully means our first one didn't stink. Or suck, or sink. <laughs> we, we don't want to suck, or stink, <laughs> or sink like Rose and Jack on the Titanic, do we, Catherine? No. Okay, so <laughs> let's try and recover this to the off the coast of the Isle of Capri, which is just mm. sublime. And it's a mega ship. It's the Harmony of the Seas. And we're going to be joined by a fellow hostie. <laughs> the photos of cruise ships and the brochures and things, until you get on board, you, you can't, the photos don't do them justice. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I, that's quite right. Although I have to say the photos that I saw of this suite before we came on, I think, did do it justice because it's every bit as wonderful. Audrey, the magic carpet, <laughs> has that been operational as yet? I guess you haven't yes. been in port. It comes down to deck uh, four or five because it is an, uh, a cocktail bar attached to raw on five. So it's on deck five, sorry. So, so Captain Kate is the first uh, U.S female captain of a mass market cruise ship. You know, we remember Julie, the cruise director. So she told her dad, I want to be a cruise director on a cruise ship when I grow up. And he's like, why be the cruise director? Why don't you drive the thing? And um, and that's it, you know? So she is the first female captain. She is, she is a tiny little woman, but mighty, mighty. Because she's here for months on end, her cat is always with her. And the name of the cat is Bob Naked. And it is, I, I think it's ugly as sin, but anyway. <laughs> Here I am on the Celebrity Edge, and guess who I just met? Captain K. Hi, everybody. Everybody. Everybody's. Seaborne is my favorite uh, cruise line in the world. Wow. It's, uh, it's six-star luxury. I can't describe um, every element of the experience you have on board from the time you wake up in the morning to throughout the day, all the activities, the staff, the food, there's unlimited caviar, open bar. I just can't start to um, tell you how excited I am about being able to share Fantastic. Seaborn with you. Pack your bags, you need to get off to the doctor and get a script for all those <laughs> me seasickness meds I know you're going to bring on that first cruise. And never ever forget our motto here at Plain Sailing. What is it, Catherine? Seize, Seize the day. The day.